Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And uh, first of all, new background. You know, I always try something new, <laughs> background. Anyways, thank you for joining me. Everybody who have not seen my videos on my channel before, or uh, you know, who's first time here seeing this face for the first time. Well, my name is Imran. Uh, welcome to my video and my channel. Everybody who has already been subscribed to my channel, Nice to see you guys again. I hope you keeping it good. Now I'm creating this video. However, the setup is a bit different today. My camera is here. My screen is there. So if you find me doing, please uh, excuse me for that today. It's a bit of wide setup today. Anyway, so it's going to be a short video, quick one. And this is about uh, Apple M1X or M2. There's a lot of rumors came out recently in the market and I wanted to talk about it as well. A lot of people are, confused even the you know the leakers are confused that either is going to be m1x or m2 now i'm by no potential or by no capacity the one who is going to confirm anything of one or other either way but i have certain knowledge about apple and insights and uh, i can't disclose uh, what are the insights but i can tell you that there are certain things which i know for a fact and then certain things i'm speculating um, that what might happen and how they are going to name their new M series uh, chips in their Macs and in what uh, sort of fashion and what's the rationale behind them for them. So let's dive in. M1X or M2? We have to understand this M1X and M2 is just an academic game. I mean, they can call whatever they want to their chip. It's Apple, you never know. They might come and say, hey, unicorn, peace out. And that would be it. But to being a bit logical about it, look, X after any, you know, uh, chipset of uh, by Apple, Silicon uh, has been A12, A12X, so, you know, all before that, is just a beefed up, chipset of the same generation on Stride. So what's going to happen uh, is uh, M1X is still going to be a five nanometer chip with extra cores, CPU, GPU, you know, top uh, high performance core and uh, efficiency cores and all sort of th uh, things. And uh, the Apple is going to name them M1X. It's still going to be significantly powerful up to like 80 to 90%. Uh, Possibly 100, but I'm not that optimistic that is going to be double the power. But yeah, 80 to 90 percent improvement would be there uh, with more cores. But it still is going to remain a five nanometer chip uh, with some extras uh, juice being poured in. Right? However, M2 is actually going to be a four nanometer technology. And yes, M2 chip is in production already. And they are going. Uh, they have passed their test phase, which is a big thing in Apple. If you are out of your test phase, or out of your prototype phase, and you're in your production phase, not mass production. That's a different thing. Production to uh, just put it in, into a perspective of yes, we are going to go forward with these chips, and we are going to see that how it's going to roll out when it comes to production because. It's not like uh, chips are created like any other things. Like, okay, I put silicon here, there. They're five nanometer, four nanometer, you know, silicon uh, transistors. Um, can't be done like that. And before I go uh, forward, they can call whatever they want. They might call M1X as M2 and M2 as M3. Uh, this is all what I know for now and it might change later on. So, uh, what are the other rumors around this new chipset? Is that uh, this Taiwan semiconductor, uh, they're already working on it, they're already manufacturing it for Apple. Uh, 4 nanometer as we all know and 3 nanometer already been you know kind of uh, all packed for Apple by uh, TSMC because they have a special you know contract with uh, TSMC uh, that all the 4 nanometer and 3 nanometer chip would be first provided to Apple no matter what how they develop everything all the amount has been poured by Apple already into this so yes they are light year ahead of any other uh, you know, the silicon manufacturer, including Intel, AMD, and Samsung as well. Unfortunately, they can't do that for now. Uh, now, talking about uh, how these chips are going to get used. In my opinion, M1X slash M2, they are going to get used in MacBook Pros, uh, 14-inch and 16-inch, 
and uh, there will be some new design which uh, recently been leaked as well uh, they are coming with uh, sd slots and sdmi output uh, you know uh, with thunderbolt uh, 4. other than that um, when it comes to screen design uh, is it going to be you know square with circular corners or it's just plain square i don't know and it doesn't bother me that much as long as they're going to keep those bezels slim that's all i want uh, now talking about uh, the mac pro that's a different story if they come up with the m2 with four nanometer technology that i'm talking about I think they will be able to change the design and uh, there will be no more chin there. Still, it will be, you know, slab squared off with rounded corner and all, uh, but no more chin. Uh, everything would be within the body, uh, slim body. And uh, there might be slight change in the design of the stand. I'm not sure, is it going to happen or not, but this is what on the drawing board as, as much as I know. Now, regarding the launch time, um, as much as I uh, anticipating it, it is going to be launched in WWDC. That's um, being told uh, for now. It's going to be a blast for Apple. And Apple is kind of on, <laughs> I don't know what they're smoking right now. <laughs> they're releasing all those goodies in the market. Uh, last year they came up with their own M1, then now that's Mac and I iPad Pro have an M1 chip, which is absolutely killer i mean this ipad pro is unbeatable uh, when it comes to power she power and uh, now this m1x or m2 coming up in wwdc um i'm eagerly waiting for it now mostly this is coming from the this is our mostly our rumors and from sources some of my uh, i've read on internet some i try to dig myself so M2, as been rumored, is going to have more cores, uh, 12 uh, CPU and up to 16 GPU cores for MacBook. I'm talking about MacBook Pro and 14 and 16 inches. But what special about M2 is where M1 is lacking, M2 is going to actually cover it. So like, you know, external di uh, display support. Right now, M1 can support only one external display, but M2 is going to support uh, as much as two, three uh, external displays. Uh, not more than that at the moment. Uh, technology is not that ready when it comes to ARM-based architecture, but yeah, they are working on that particular aspect. They, they will be able to handle 4K, 5K uh, displays as well. Also widescreen displays, faster data transmit and faster calculations. And apart from that, what is more important right now for M2 to achieve over M1 is expectation. When M1 came out, we literally had no expectation at all. Other than that, yeah, Apple might bring something good on the table. And when we say good, we were expecting, okay, it might compete with i7 and uh, maybe equal to it, if not better, uh, nothing near i9. M1 blew everyone out of the water. And surpasses our expectation it created a like a storm in the creators community and everyone around the world who knows even a naked bit about what the processor and how these things work and we were you know we were really excited now talking about m2 all of a sudden our ex expectations are sky high we want to see oh it should be double of the speed it should be doing this and, and that and it should be instantaneous and it should be like god Please lower your expectations, guys. This is a technology, not magic. It's science. Yes, we took a leap, but leap doesn't happen every day. Okay, so I think, yes, there will be a giant leap again, but not as giant compared as it was for M1 above others, because that's a completely different technology which we have seen with M1. So, um, a few extra displays, few extra port it will be able to support, uh, higher resolution it will be able to support, more, more data transfer at the same time, more, uh, you know, uh, calculations at the same time. Other than that, what I can say, it will be in a smaller form factor. So you might see less heat generation. You might be able to see even MacBook Pros might be without fan. Not sure yet, but it might be possible. So that would be all for this one. Uh, don't want to take much time because as I said, I'm going to keep this video short. 
And if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, give it a sub. Thank you so much. Take care. Have a good one. See you in the next one.